Hey everybody, RetroPyGuy here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the 8 bit N30 Pro 2 Bluetooth Gamepad Controller with RetroPy. The first thing that you're going to want to do with your gamepad controller is make sure that the firmware on it is up to date. You can do this by going to the 8 bit website, www8 bitdocom navigating over to the support tab, and then just looking up your N30 Pro 2 Bluetooth gamepad controller. Once you click on it, if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, there is a section where you can download the latest firmware. If you're typically buying this on Amazon or something like that, and it's um, still relatively new, usually you're not going to have to even update your firmware. But I definitely recommend at least checking just to make sure that your firmware is up to date prior to getting started with pairing this and setting it up on RetroPie. So once we've made sure that our firmware is up to date, the first thing we're going to do is boot up our RetroPie game collection card and jump into our configuration settings. Once we're into our configuration settings on here, we're going to jump into the Bluetooth option. We'll let that load for a couple seconds. And then we're going to select that first option, which is pair and connect to Bluetooth device. Now, before we go and select that, we want to make sure that we turn on our gamepad controller here. You'll notice that it does start to flash blue down here on these LED displays. And then right at the bottom here between our um, analog sticks, you'll notice there's a Bluetooth button. So if we just hold that down for three seconds, you'll notice these lights start to flash. Now we can go ahead and select pair and connect to Bluetooth device on RetroPie. And you'll see that it says searching. It can sometimes, the first time that you do this, take up to a minute or so to um, fully connect on here. So you'll notice here that the middle option is the Apito N30 Pro 2. So we'll go ahead and select that. And then here it's going to ask us to please choose the security mode, try the first and the second if that fails. So we'll do exactly that. We'll try this first one here. So this gamepad controller here did just vibrate, so we do know that it paired correctly and we advanced back to this uh, configure Bluetooth devices page. Now if you get an error message, then you just have to go through this step again, and then when you get to the um, that previous screen we were just on, you'll just go down and select the second option rather than the first option. So this is all set now, so we're going to go to cancel on here to exit this. And now we're going to open up our main menu and navigate down to configure input. It'll say, are you sure you want to configure input? We'll go ahead and select yes. And now we'll see that it says one gamepad detected on our uh, configure input page here. So if we hold down any button on our Apido N30 Pro gamepad controller, you'll see that it briefly fills into the bottom there and it automatically brings us to this configuring page. So now we're just going to follow along with this and do each of the prompts. So here it says D-pad up, so we're going to hit our D-pad up option right here. Uh, D-pad down, we'll hit D-pad down, D-pad left, left, D-pad right, hit the right one. Um, start, hit start, select, hit select. Um, we're going to hit the A button for A, B for B, X for X, and Y for Y. So now for the shoulder buttons here, if we look at the top of our um, Apito N30 Pro 2 controller here, we see that we have L1, L2, R2, R1 here. So for left shoulder, we're going to do this out side button. You can actually do these however you want. I just find that it works best to do it this way. Um, this, these are the uh, true shoulder buttons here, but you know if you want to make these the triggers and these the shoulder buttons, you can do this however you want, whatever works best for you. So for left shoulder, we'll hit that. Right shoulder, we'll hit R1. For left trigger, we'll hit L2. For right trigger, we'll hit R2. And now for our left thumb, we're going to just push in on the left thumb here. Do this very carefully because you don't want to, you know, accidentally um, push up or down or you know any direction on these analog sticks. And it's super easy to do that. So um, right thumb again, just push in the right thumb. So now for the left analog up, we're just going to go up, left analog down, go down left analog left, go left, left analog right, go right. And I recommend going super slow with these because again, um, these are pretty small. You can see they're quite a bit smaller than my thumb. It's easy to 
push them. You know, if you go quickly, you might kind of trail off to left or right if you're trying to go up and down. So just be real careful with these. So for right analog up, we'll do the same thing on the right side, up. For down, we'll do down. For left, we'll do left. For right, we'll do right. And now for the hotkey, we can do either the select button here, or we have some extra buttons down here that you can see alongside those Bluetooth. So I'm just gonna use this button right here. And now we'll just hit OK with the A button. It'll take a second to load in all of those settings. And then once we're back to this main menu here, you can see we're able to navigate up and down. If we hit B, we can go back to our game collections and easily navigate through all of these. So that's gonna do it for today. Super easy process for this um, really great controller from 8 um, It's got this super thin profile too, which I like. You know, if you like smaller uh, Bluetooth gamepad controllers, this is definitely the one for you. These lights on here are also pretty nice as well. So um, I'm also gonna do a review on this, so stay tuned for that video as well. But that's gonna do it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up on the video. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole bunch of tutorials, gameplay demos, product reviews, all sorts of stuff. So definitely subscribe. And then of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.